Right, hi, how are you all doing? <clears throat> I haven't spoken to you for a bit, not in real time. Anyway, I've put videos up that were filmed a while ago. Um, we're in lockdown again here. It's so hard, the whole thing. I'm finding it really difficult. And I'm sure you are too. Where I live, we've been in lockdown of some kind since July because of high numbers in our area. So that's July, August, September, October. Now we've gone into November full like countrywide lockdown that's five months I just it's just too much anyway <coughs> so <coughs> thankfully I've got my sewing to keep me going and this little book you've seen it loads of times and as you know it won't, well actually I'm going to say it won't stay short it is staying short now there's still quite a few pages to work on um, that one and uh, that one uh, uh, that, that. So you know what I mean, they do take quite a bit of filling um, but they're, they're kind of nice to just have to work on if you want something just to take your mind off stuff for a while. So what I'm going to have to do, I want to work on this page I think. So what I tend to do is get the, this is the front cover, if I fold that under there it tends to help and then get a little clip thing, being very careful and just clip those pages together and that provides a bit of weight that keeps it workable. So I've got one of these little cigarette card holders, so I buy cigarette silks to use in my embroidery sometimes, well I buy them and then sometimes I use them in my embroidery and these little cards they come in are nice, like, nice little booklets. So I want to put this on here and then I want to also use some of this nice ribbon stuff when I'm attaching it. So if I kind of, and if that comes from underneath, like that, and then sticks out a bit and goes over, but then I'd quite like it. Actually what I might do, I'm wondering if I can cut that and cut the page and thread it through, that might be better. I've got a knife here, it's just my cutting mats under here, I'll have to lift everything up. Um, just give me a sec. If I just get a little corner of it free, that might help. Um, so if I cut this, I won't use my ruler. I don't really need to use my ruler. If I cut that there. Now I've got a tiny little cutting mat in the house. I'm in my shed, um, my workshop. But I might be able to manage by doing this. And then where I've cut that slit there cut through the page as well without losing my fingers it'd be a bonus okay hopefully fingers crossed and I'm not sure how easy this is going to be to thread through here now which way do I want it to come I think I'd like it <laughs> at the front and then it's more visible so I need to try and get it through there I don't know which might be easier said than done um, these are old embroidery scissors not my good ones I need to kind of do that Now I might come unstuck when I try and push it through my cigarette card because that's more fragile. So I need to get it through there. Okay. 
Oh, see, the whole thing's split now, but never mind. I thought that might happen, but see, can you see it's coming apart now? Um, but I'll stitch that. I'll stitch it together. I've got a needle threaded here. So I'll put a knot in my thread. If I just stitch it both sides of that ribbon, it should hold it in place. They're so fragile, you see. I should have thought about that. But hey ho. So if I come up there, the whole thing's coming apart. Well, there you go, Karen. The best laid plans and all that. I'll go down there. And then come up there. If I had more time, I'd probably stitch the whole thing together. And go down there. Well, wouldn't you know that'd happen, eh? To pull this through a bit more. Just, oh, I'll, oh. I might go further down. Just do one more down here. But then it is going to be attached to the page, so that'll make it stable as well. Go down there like that. Right, and then fasten that off on the back. That wasn't part of the plan today, but there you go. Sometimes these things happen and we have to work around them. Right, so. Um, that'll pull up to the page, hopefully. There, that's better, isn't it? Right, and then, so if that's going to tie at the side, if I cut this here, right, and then I have to still secure this to the page because that ribbon going through it isn't adequate really to secure that to the page. If I turn it round. go through everything. I'll do this top and bottom. I'll put a knot in it. I didn't need a knot, but it doesn't matter. I can cut that off. I'm going to tie it in. So I'll do this top and bottom, although now, for the purpose of this video, I won't do it. I'll leave it to later because I want to look at something else that might go on here and I don't want to keep you for hours. I don't want to send you to sleep. How long have we been? Eight minutes? Well, Right, so I'll cut that off. And I'll also, like I say, off camera, tie it at the bottom. So that'll tie at the side. Oops. Just loosely. Doesn't have to be tied in or not. It's just for prettiness. And that'll be stitched at the bottom as well. And then I was wondering about down this side. Actually, I never thought about that. Looking a bit like a dog's dinner. I might have to do that. I might have to take the whole thing off and do it again. Stitch that together properly. Maybe. We'll see. Although I could have that. I do like them half closed, though. But it's definitely not stable enough. Now, I've been plaiting um, strips of silk waist. Wondered if it might live on there with that, but I'm not sure now. But I've also got this little thing. But I think I definitely need more than that on there. Or I've got this. That might be nice on there. It's quite a nice contrast going on there, isn't there? Colour wise. Not the contrast. Um, they're quite similar tonally. Don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, that might be nice to do that. So I'll give that a bit more thought. But like I said, probably gonna have to stitch that again because it looks like a right dog's dinner. Um, but never mind. Anyway, be safe, everybody, and hang in there. I mean, I'm saying that to you. I need to take my own advice. 
because I'm really struggling. Just to be safe, anyway.